Yeah, days full of work and what they have to show for it are even more cannonballs. They've been digging in the site before they can take them away, that they make sure that they have them all. And that's a job in progress. Sky 4 gives the best view of where special experts on explosives are making sure the cannonballs are safely removed from this Lawrenceville neighborhood construction site. So these guys are the best of the best. They're fully trained. They've dealt with a lot more dangerous situations than this. Here's a closer look at the cannonballs from when they were first spotted in March. They're still digging. There may be more. We're not allowed to stop until we don't see any more. As long as there are more cannonballs in the hole, the specialty contractor has to excavate until there are no more found. Dumpsters and mounds of dirt shield construction workers still on the job and nearby homes on 39th Street. We have wheel off dumpsters stacked two feet high, filled with foam. There's absolutely no way that if one of these were to go off, that it would go through that. Given this neighborhood's history, finding cannonballs buried is no surprise. 78 people died in an explosion at the Arsenal Arms Factory nearby in 1862. Pittsburgh was considered the arsenal of the Union during the Civil War. Millions of rounds of small arms ammunition and cannon shells were loaded right here at 40th Street and Butler. There's black powder in these cannonballs, and black powder is a very dangerous substance that even after being wet, when it dries out, it can still be dangerous potentially. Again, they're giving assurances there's no danger to the public as they continue the work. Pittsburgh's public safety director stopped by here for a time today. We understand the work stopped briefly as they consulted with those involved in the job, then continued. They'll be back tomorrow at 7 a.m. Digging for cannonballs, getting ready to clear them away. Reporting live in Lawrenceville, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.